how are you doing? I'm wondering if you're wondering how you can get from a Figma design like this one here all the way to a finished website like this one here, built in WordPress using Bricks Builder. If you are, and if you can live with the hat, I'm the right guy for you. This is the Mixotech website dev diary. Welcome. Now, who's Mixotech? First of all, my client contact is this gentleman here named Peter. We're getting along pretty nicely. And one day he was like, hey, so you build a website? Because I need one. Turns out I do. So Peter and Thomas, they got in touch with me for Mixotech, which is their new startup. It's a company that extracts chemistry from so-called mixobacteria, which can then be used by pharmaceutical companies to, you know, come up with new drugs. Now, I think you're going to get the most out of this dev diary if you bring certain preconditions. I really highly recommend Kevin Geary's Page Building 101 online class. It's a free class on YouTube. You can just put Page Building 101 as a search term into YouTube and you're going to find it. And this class basically introduces you not to you know, page building with Elementor or page building with bricks or oxygen or anything like that, but it teaches you the fundamentals of what it means to create websites. So basic HTML knowledge and understanding, basic CSS understanding, and then more advanced concept like dynamic data and so on. I also recommend you check out Mark Zemanski's channel, Mark Zemanski, and you find his playlist, WordPress Dynamic Data Fundamentals, which dives deeper into dynamic data. And Mark presents all that knowledge in a very accessible and intuitively understandable manner. So I think it's highly worth watching as well. What are you going to see here? One of the things is actually the stopwatch, which is going to be running through every video, because not only do I want to show you how the websites are built and how I you know my process, but also how long this generally takes me. Obviously, your mileage may vary depending on your skill set or you know the previous experiences that you bring to the table give or take i took about 19 hours to build the whole website from this point here in figma which is where we start to completion which was this morning there will be points where i just skip parts of what i was doing because i believe you don't want to sit there just watching me think about different solutions or you know try to make decisions and that's Definitely something that is necessary if you want to build a scalable and maintainable modern website that's going to be, you know, future proof. You're going to have to build with foresight. You're going to have to build with deliberation. And watching somebody do that can be can become boring because they're just going to sit there and, I don't know, think. Decision making like that is a process. And you're going to probably later come back. You're going to see me do that and revise some decisions and, you know, overthrow them perhaps. And even then, at some point, they might just come back and bite you in the ass. What I think you do need to have is methodology, and I'm hoping I can provide you some perspective on that. All right, so let me check my notes. Welcome to Mixotech Precondition, PB101, explain stopwatch. We'll pause on boring stuff. I just explained that to you. Chapter marks. Yes, I'm going to try my best to introduce chapter marks to all my episodes, and that's going to help you to just jump to different points in the build and perhaps also find interesting information again later when you look for it. Now, what are we building and in which order? I'm actually going to go from top to bottom. So in the first video, we're going to start right off with just really a blank blueprint, my blank bricks blueprint, where I have, you know, a bunch of plugins pre-installed, a bunch of settings set up so I can, you know, do start doing what I do immediately. We're going to start with the navigation. I'm going to show you how to build the menu. I'm going to show you like interesting CSS stuff, how to build this, this frame that kind of opens on one side and lets this content come out, just like extracting chemistry from bacteria. We're going to see how to build a nice button that is animated like this. We're going to go through all these sections. Some stuff is going to be really straightforward. Just a two column grid section is, is not nothing, nothing too exciting. We're going to find out how to do this overlap. We are going to build these accordions. There's going to be a bunch of stumbling around, a bunch of getting annoyed with that. And we are going to use a CPT, a custom post type, to create these membership, member team cards, team member cards, I think team member cards is the word, with uh, with really nice background images. Every card has its own background image. How do we do that if we're using a query loop to pull in the 
you know the information from these these cpts well you're about to find out and then all the way to the end by the time that website is done you're going to also see some jumps in how it looks because in between of course i also met up with peter and he had a bunch of ideas we just worked them out together live and then we watched it's always sunny in philadelphia once a website is completely built, there's still a whole phase of the project that still needs to happen, and that's the launch. And it comprises of surprisingly many steps that, at least to my mind, absolutely need to happen to really get this website onto the internet safely and securely and properly, including security settings and tech optimization, loading speed optimization, five icons, SSL, bunch of rounds of testing and more. So the last few videos of this series are just going to be us going through these steps all the way to the actual launch. When you are about to start the first episode, I have a finished design, which I designed or came up with together with the client during the first phase of the project. They gave me assets, they gave me copy, they gave me photos and stuff like that, presentations. And they explain to me what they are doing and how this can be best expressed in a website. Or, you know, I advise them on that. Then I build everything what you, that you're seeing here in Figma. And by the time we launch the series, I have green light from the client to actually build what you're seeing in Figma. And I have green light from the client to record it and publish it on YouTube after launch. So thank you very much. Peter and Thomas for allowing me to do this. I think it's going to be exciting as shizzle and I look forward to taking you guys on this journey. Here's the stop button. Goodbye.